It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood. A beautiful day for a neighbor. Why is it snowing outside? It's not even December. <laughs> oh man, look at all this stuff, you know? It's hard to believe that winter is here already, even though it's only October and today is the 5th of October, but yet it's like winter came early or something. I know I never asked Santa for this yet. I mean, I, I you know, I love, I, I don't mind winter, you know, I don't, I don't have a problem with it, but I never asked for it. Not yet, anyway, you know. What's going on, everybody? Frank Slauson here, just doing a little driving. I'm by myself today. No mic this time because I decided that I'd go by myself. Decided to see Bimber and stuff. Uh, just going to have a quick little conversation with you guys. I'm, I'm not going to really film a whole lot of, of what I've done today or whatever. I just kind of want to just talk a little bit. Now, I know I said I wouldn't make any more boring videos. And, and you know... I'm not trying to make a boring video, but I just want to get you guys' uh, opinions on, about a, on, a, on a couple of things anyway. Uh, I've been very grateful and very fortunate to have the ability to to do interviews with people, you know, do all walks of life. Since I started doing radio and stuff, uh, you know, that, that gave me the best experience that I could ever ask for when it comes to uh, learning your craft or, or being good at something. And little did I know that that I would be if, if any talent that I have that I that I know that I have would be at least a communication that I could probably host my own show or or um, I don't know just try uh, uh, talking with with another person and, and make it you know a fun show out of it or something and that's what I what I have enjoyed about doing these interviews with with. Uh, you know, all types of people that I've interviewed. Uh, you just seen uh, recently we had Michael Ray Bauer on from uh, Salute Shorts. I got a big guest coming up for. Hopefully, if it works out, I don't know for sure. Uh, we had to redo, reschedule the interview uh, with this uh, mystery guest uh, because he had an emergency. So hopefully, by the time that this goes up, that we've already done. The, I've already done the interview with him and. I know because I'm getting my uh, Skype prepaid. Uh, that's, that'll be active as of uh, October 9th. So I had to put some money in it and everything. And I did it through the bank transfer, so it kind of, uh, yeah, it, it kind of just had to, uh, uh, it takes a few days sometimes when you're doing bank transfers to your checking account. But anyway, so everything's been going great uh, so far anyway. It's October. 29 now. I can't believe it, you know. Another year. This is the last year of my of my 20s. And I and I said that, you know, and, I, and I'm not going to try to compare myself to Shea Carl because Shea Carl's life was a, a lot different when he was 29 compared to what it is for me when I'm 29. Uh, you know, he's the pinnacle of success. And, and, and I just hope one day that I can be a pinnacle of success. But I'm going to try my best and I can make that a guarantee, no matter what life throws at me, no matter whether it's something to do with the job or something to do with this life completely, I'm going to try to make this year matter. I'm going to try to do something special, even bigger than what I have been doing with interviews or with going to Oregon, uh, what I did. I'm going to try to do something special, something really big, so that by the time I turn 30 in another year from now, that I, I at least accomplished another big goal of my life. And, and yes, it has to do with, uh, with moving, and it has to do with moving to a bigger city, and finally getting back on my feet, finally getting back on my own again. Uh, I've thought about this for a long time, and yes, of course, you know, originally when I moved to Thief River, and I saved my friend Roger, originally the, the reason why I did that was, one, because I didn't want to work, uh, I didn't want to drive back and forth to, back to, to Hugo's and back and forth because of the snow. See, I can, it does this is fun right here, where the roads are good, it's all nice and clear and everything, that's no big deal, but when the, when the snow comes, like, er, believe it or not, early this morning, when I was on my way to work, the roads were pretty bad, and for the first time with this vehicle, I actually went in a ditch, 
about five miles from where I live. And I was late for work, and it was just, uh, luckily I didn't have to pay a tow truck or anything, and luckily I didn't have to, you know, luckily a nice, uh, this nice guy was nice enough to help me, you know, this morning, which I was pretty happy about, you know. But it worked out, but normally when the weather was bad, then, you know, I, and I, my, I have a brother, you know, I have to drive this vehicle yesterday, and he must have turned the four-wheel drive off. Now, I have it off now because the roads are fine now, but I had to keep them on this morning. And if I would to, if I would have had the four-wheel drive on when I was uh, uh, driving this morning, I probably wouldn't have went to ditch. But I didn't, I thought it was on. I didn't, you know. Oh, well. Anyway, uh, but what I'm trying to get at is that now that I've had the ability to, to decide to do a, an interview, interviews again, um, I'm trying to get some big guests. I'm trying to get some people that maybe you have, you've never heard of before, or people that have that were big at one time, but now kind of disappeared in a way from uh, you know uh, the entertainment world in, in a way, in some ways anyway. Or they're doing stuff, but it's like uh, little things, more or less. But I'm trying. To, uh, we're trying my best anyway to, to find whoever I can find. I'm not going to give up on it, no matter where I'm at, no matter where I'm living, no matter, you know, if I'm on my own or, or, uh, <laughs> or, uh, living, out, or living somewhere else. Oh yeah, I suppose I was going to continue the story. Um, the reason why I moved to Roger because it was kind of a stepping stone to, uh, to, to get my own place, but then of course, as we all realize, I got fired from that job at Hugo's because of, once, because of some people saying it was harassment, like I was harassing somebody, but I... I don't believe that. I mean, I'll admit that I may have went a little overboard, but I don't think what I did was bad. Because you should, I mean, people like people that you work with, or people, it seems like sometimes coworkers will tell you a thing or two, even if uh, no matter what the rules are, you know, no matter if they, if you can't, if you're not supposed to say this, but then they still say it anyway. Some people just don't have a soul, I guess. Anyway. But no, I'm, uh, things are going good with the, with one of right now. It's just that uh, I'm just thinking, you know, long hard about possibly moving before the end of the year. Maybe we'll see what happens. I plan on going to Grand Forks here in uh, another couple weeks to try to get some applications. Terry Doolam did tell me that if you remember the interview that I did with him, he told me that I was I would be able to uh, apply anyway and maybe get a job there. Uh, maybe not being an anchor man, but just uh, doing a, uh, an actual just behind the scenes job, which would be kind of fun because to you, television would, you know, I never thought I'd ever be able to work in television, but with all the experience that I have and, and just the audio things that I do, and then also the YouTube, it can, you know, maybe I don't have a big professional camera, you know, with all my stuff, but I, but I, I, I pretty much I know how to do stuff like that, simple basic stuff, man. But uh, anyway, I just, uh, I'm glad you guys watch these videos, uh, the ones that I put up, whether it's on Facebook or my YouTube videos. They're going to get better and better, I guarantee you, from this point on. Uh, because what I've been trying to do is stick to a schedule. Like, I don't just upload everything that I put up right away. And if I do, I set it on private and I schedule it for a certain day. That's why you would see a lot more content on my on my channel because I I uh, record stuff ahead of time, so that might not be like anything that happened currently, but it might be a, maybe a couple weeks old or whatever. Most of the stuff that's how it's going to be, and then I'll just add more stuff later on. So anyway, I just wanted to let you know, see what's going on and uh, thank you all for the birthday wishes that I got. Uh, that meant a lot. For everybody on Facebook and uh, there's a couple of people on YouTube that uh, said happy birthday. So I do appreciate that and uh, let's just hope for big things this year. This is the fifth season of my of the Frank Sauce show on YouTube, so let's just hope that that good things will definitely happen anyway. Alright, I'm Frank Sauce and uh, we'll see you guys again. Bye bye.